Okay, so before anything else happens, I just want to address the very obvious elephant in the room. Why does nobody in Moab, Utah stinking Jeep wave anymore? I want to say 90% of the Jeeps I waved at, no matter what they were in, it doesn't matter if it was a JK, a rental, CJ7, CJ5, nobody waves. It can be a built rock crawling monster, which actually now that I think about it, I haven't seen very many, but even if it was, I wave at them and they don't wave back. Very few people have waved at me and it's going to drive me crazy. What is, not, what, what is wrong with you guys? I'm in like the number one, I'm like in Jeep Valhalla, Moab, Utah, and nobody's waving. Okay, now the second biggest issue, my shackle on my leaf spring broke and I hardly even went on a trail. I was just driving down dirt roads and the leaf spring thing just busted. It just was like, whoop, it just snapped off. So I go and look at it and you know, obviously it's busted. And um, I was gonna just get it towed by AAA, but halfway through I realized I didn't wanna wait three hours for a tow truck to come get me, to take me to a shop. And then also I was having trouble explaining to the lady exactly what was broken and how it was more of a welding issue issue and not a not like a mechanical issue and so I am at Moab Motorsports and the guy here is probably gonna get me fixed up today yesterday actually I did film a vlog but unfortunately it was an interesting day got my one dollar coffee a lot of people have told me that if I get a slick slip yoke eliminator on my Jeep it'll fix the vibration issue but I have a slip yoke eliminator on the Jeep so that will not fix any of my issues because I already have one Got the um, gasket off, whatever, sealer. What is this called? Thing that prevents leaking. I can't think right now. And the new one looks completely different. And the fact that this one looks completely different is what caused me to take this thing apart. This whole thing. It's got the stupid lip on here. That's the main difference. And the You didn't really get to see the full process. I was working on the Jeep until the late hours. I think it was like six or seven o'clock. I ended up just spending $5 on a 20 nugget and eating that and then going to sleep because it was already like seven o'clock by the time I was done and heading back to camp. And it was really getting cold outside. It was in like the low 30s, I think last night, maybe 20. I think it was actually in the high 20s, low 30s. From what I can tell right now, the Jeep is fixed. The seal that was leaking that was supposedly gonna cost me $700, I fixed 
for maybe a maybe a hundred something dollars in a car quest parking lot. I, I don't have any other words. I'm just proud of myself for doing that. Fortunately, after I fixed it, the speedometer doesn't work. And I don't know why, but I know where the gear, the speedo gear, I had to take the whole cover off. And I think that the sensor for the speedo gear is actually damaged somehow. That or the speedo gear itself, where it connects to the actual output shaft, might have been damaged. I noticed that probably from the heat melting, it actually already damaged some of the plastic. The only reason I think it's not that is because it was technically still working before I took the thing apart. So I think the actual sensor is busted. It's also leaking out of that seal. Okay, so in case I didn't make it clear in the video, I got my Jeep all fixed up. I thought it was gonna be somewhere towards $100, which was gonna be a lot, but unfortunately, this is something I couldn't do on my own. But thankfully, it only cost me about $56 to get that shackle welded. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, that was so expensive. But I mean, welds are expensive and uh, it's an expensive trade. So <laughs> I had to do what I had to do. But I mean, it was still a good deal. I think 56 bucks, I'm all bolted up back on the road and we are good. So that is gonna be the end for this video. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to upload the video yesterday for the reasons I stated. So before I go, I just need to say a couple thank yous to a couple amazing people. Okay, I'm going to butcher this name, but I'm going to try. Greg Wesolowicz, Wes <laughs> ah! um, Greg Wesolowicz, uh, I hope I said that right, and Chris Zamir, I think I said that right. Chris Zamir, and Greg Wizzle, Greg Wizzle. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna call you Greg because I'm, I know I'm butchering that. Either way, thank you guys so much for becoming new Patreon pledges. You guys are the reason that I'm able to continue on this journey and pay for the repairs on this old Jeep. Really means a lot. Thank you for your support. If you would also like to help support the channel, I have a Patreon link down below as well as a GoFundMe, but I'm gonna change that soon to a Venmo. So if you'd like to support me on either of those, links are down below. But also, if you support me on Patreon, I actually do post exclusive content that you will not see on this channel or on my Instagram. So if you'd like to see exclusive content, go support me on Patreon. Otherwise, anything else works. Even just continue watching my videos, share it with your friends, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Probably. Unless something else happens and I'm not able to upload.